they weren't famous, they would be working at McDonald's right now. Is it though? Does YouTube really require skills or is it pure luck? I mean, 75% of children between the ages of 6 and 17 say that they want to become YouTubers. So do we need a necessary level of knowledge and skills to become a YouTuber? Or can anyone become a YouTuber? Even Mr. Beast, one of the most successful names on YouTube, says it's 99% skill. Um, it's 99% skill. In this video, I created a brand new channel to test that and I will try to reach 1000 subscribers in 7 days by just posting there. But even your own channel isn't 1000 subscribers. What are you talking about? This channel is not my only channel. I do have a channel with 30,000 plus subscribers, so that's something. Also, in the videos, I can show my face and I can use my own social media platform to promote that channel because it's gonna be like... I'm starting from zero. I created a YouTube channel and first I want to share some shorts videos. So if you want to grow up quickly, I think the shorts videos is the best option right now. And it would be great if I share two shorts videos and one long form video today. And by long videos, I mean three to four minute videos because I don't want to make videos like 15 minutes because when people see that long videos, they go like, <laughs> are too lazy to watch the video. I mean, of course you watch the video of someone that you know, but it is a bit difficult for someone that you don't know to watch a 15 minute video. By the way, I will share Minecraft videos on this channel. It will be a gaming channel and Minecraft videos for some reason seem to be getting a lot of attention on YouTube. That's why I said, why not Minecraft? So let me get to work and create some content. I believe with some level of knowledge and experience, anyone can become a YouTuber. Yes, now I finish shooting all the videos even I finish editing of the first shorts video and I put these shorts directly to uploading before editing the other videos because I don't want to waste any time. But while I was creating these videos, there was a change in the plans, so I'm not gonna create long form videos, I'm just gonna post short videos on this channel for this challenge. I mean long form videos will be better in the long run, so like you have a good audience who watches both your shorts and long form videos, but right now our main focus is to grow, to gain as much as views and subscribers in 7 days, so I think short videos would be better. Who knows, I might continue growing this channel after this challenge. If you remember yesterday I shared two short videos. And this morning when I woke up, I went to the YouTube studio and checked how they did. But before I talk about that, let me mention this. The videos that I share for this channel is in English and not in Greek or in Turkish. I mean, not my native languages. Because I think with English, I can reach way more people and that's better. And when it's nighttime here in Greece, I mean when I sleep, my videos actually can get views. Which it did and I'm gonna mention that in a minute. But in any case, I think making videos in English would perform better. I mean, I will gain more views and subscribers, I think. Also, there are two main things that I need to pay attention when making videos. Average watch time duration and click-through rate. For short videos, only the average watch time duration will be enough though. That's why I keep my videos short and fast-paced. I mean, I make short videos, of course they are short, I mean, it's 60 seconds the most, but I keep them short, I get straight to the point. Oh yeah, I was going to show you the performance of the video, so let's check. As you can see, I gained 2.6 thousand views in a day and 20 subscribers that's 2000 percent gain i mean honestly i wasn't expecting that but it's doing great so if we got the content here you can see i shared two videos and one video is planned and i need to make another one for today but the first video that i shared got 2600 views like that, that that was the video that popped the other one just only took 14 views it didn't pop up but you know it may later in the day tomorrow i don't know may not <laughs> that's an option too but the first video did very well i got 176 likes so it's good and as you can see the average view duration on the video is 87 percent it's not bad but i think it would be better if i kept it like over 90 percent even 95 percent that would be great but 87 percent is not bad it's okay but of course there are other things that we need to consider as well sometimes when you share a video on youtube they don't directly get views it may take days weeks months to start getting views so let's take an example as you can see this video it didn't get a lot of views in the beginning but then it started getting a lot of views for this video this video took 215 days to reach thousand views and then it started getting tons of views now the video has over 25,000 views for this video you can see the curve that it makes already like this video it took 60 days to reach thousand views and then it just pop up. Now it, it has 9 to 3,000 views. And it gained tons of views after that. So don't get discouraged because you didn't get views in the first month that you started YouTube or in the first weeks. It's gonna take time. I mean, whether this challenge is successful or not, I wanna give a talk at the end of this video. I wanna share my own experiences. Anyway, I need to get back to work because 
the channel need videos. I made the videos and then I thought, how can I advertise the videos? Reddit. When I went to Reddit, I found groups about Minecraft and shared my videos there. I hope we get views and subscribers thanks to these ads. Yesterday, I had a brilliant idea. If you're wondering what, I can include other influencers, Minecraft influencers in my videos. For example, I could make a video about another Minecraft influencer and when their followers see their names or faces on the thumbnail or in the title, they're probably gonna click the video and watch it. But I can't find such a video idea. I'm in trouble right now. Anyway, while I'm thinking about a video idea like that, let me show you the current status. Yesterday, I shared two other videos and one of them did well and the other one did not. And right now we have 5,400 views in total and a total of 39 subscribers or maybe 38 I don't know why it shows 38 here and 39 on the, on the right but I think that's pretty good considering we just did that in two days and one of the videos got 2700 views and the other one only seven and today I shared other two videos the first one is live right now it's 5 30 p.m. and the video got live at 4 p.m. and the other one will be at 8 p.m. I hope at least one of them does Good. On day 4, I frankly didn't share any videos. We went out with friends and I didn't have time to make a video. However, despite that, one of the videos that I shared on day 3 got 2200 views on day 4. And as for now, the channel has 7800 views and 93 subscribers. I think we are doing pretty well. On day 5, I just created videos, nothing to be surprised about. On day 6, I officially became a Minecraft creator. This is how I'm gonna spend the rest of my life now. Arda, Steve, Marcelo, Blue. At the end of the 7 days, we have 13,000 views and 109 subscribers. Moreover, I did not share any videos on day 4 and on day 5 and day 6, I shared only 1 videos each day. If I had squeezed myself a little bit more and shared 2 videos a day, I think I might have reached 200 subscribers by the end of the 7 days, but still, we got pretty good results. But these results, I think, answered that big question. Does YouTube require skills and knowledge, or is it a matter of luck? Actually, the answer is not that simple. Yes, YouTube requires knowledge and skills, but we can't ignore the luck factor. Of course, someone who doesn't know what they're doing can not grow on YouTube that much. Even if they grow by chance, they cannot maintain continuity. Was I too knowledgeable when I started YouTube? No. I was still learning. I tried to learn both by watching other creators and creating content. Also, I did not see results just in 7 days. I had a lot of channels before this one and the 30,000 one. I didn't even get to the point where I had 500 subscribers on any of the channels. Even on my other channel with over 30,000 subscribers, it took me 6 months to reach 1000 subscribers and to get monetized. And the reason that I was able to grow was a bit of experience and knowledge. I made a Fiverr video 2 years ago on my other channel. I was watching an English channel's Fiverr challenge video where he tried to make money for a week because I was planning to start Fiverr. Then it came to my mind. I wonder if anyone did that in Turkey. I couldn't find anyone who did this and the moment I said I will do this first in Turkey. I brought the money making challenges in Turkey. <laughs> that sounded like a big deal when I said it out loud but it kinda is. Before me there was no one that made money making challenges in Turkey like in an entertaining way and even there was I didn't see it which I made a lot of research and I couldn't find anyone. Thanks to this my Fiverr video has over 300,000 views and is still the most viewed video on my Turkish channel. For example knowledge and skills play a big role in this example but there is always the factor of luck. It was kinda lucky for me that no one had done this in Turkey. However after that being able to produce high quality and entertaining fun videos is due to my skills and knowledge. So if you're planning to start on YouTube do some research beforehand and then start creating content. Do not delay the content creation part so much though. Learn and create at the same time. That's why you can click on the link in the description and book a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me. I'm just kidding. But why not? By the way, if you're planning to start on YouTube, you might want to check this video out. In that video, I show you the most paid YouTube categories where you can make the most money. So, see you over there. Bye-bye.